Hey everyone, Jay Scotto here from the Copy AI Solutions team, and I wanted to talk about one of our new actions called Extract Data from Text. So what I'm going to do here is I have a workflow started, uh, no actions, but I'm going to click the Add button here uh, down below the Input section, uh, and I'm going to add this Extract Data from Text. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take in uh, a meeting transcript that I've synthetically generated, and we're going to use that to extract some data points from the meeting. So uh, we have a couple of different uh, configuration options here, or inputs to configure. So first is the source text. So please input the text you'd like to analyze. In this case, we're just going to take the workflow input of meeting transcript text by referencing it with a hashtag. And then um, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some items that we'd like to extract from it. So I'm going to click Add Fields and let's extract three things. Um, I can certainly extract more, but for this uh, for this use case, I only need three. So I can just say date, and I'll just say or I'll call it the date of the meeting, and then the date the meeting took place. So what I'm doing here is I'm naming the thing that I want to extract. I'm then describing that same thing that I would like to extract so the AI can interpret, how do I recognize this thing in order to extract it or whatever data point uh, I need extracted and we're combining this all together in one actions output. So we can say the date of the meeting and we'll say attendees or a list of attendees. So a uh, list of people who attended the meeting. And from there, I would like to extract the topic. So uh, meeting, or I can just describe it as the topic or subject uh, of the meeting. And we're going to save that. And now that we've saved that, I'm gonna flip tabs here. So in this doc, this is just a synthetic Google doc where I've generated just this fake meeting transcript and you can see Alex Mercer, Diana Clark Kent, Bruce Wayne, uh, Lois Lane and Peter Parker, some people you may have heard of. Uh, I'm going to copy this and put this into our workflow. And we're going to run a quick test. So I'll run that test. And in testing this, what you'll now see is we have a couple of different things. What the output uh, format is located uh, down here, and it's in the JSON format or JSON object notation. So uh, I'll show you in just a second how we can actually operationalize this and use it downstream, but. Uh, we have a key value pair or the name of what we want in yellow, what we wanted extracted, and then the actual thing, the value of what we wanted extracted in green. And uh, we'll get to how we're using that in a second, but just to check this over, it looks like we got everything right. So all the data points that we needed, we now have. Uh, so we've got the date of the meeting, which is August 15th. We've got all of the attendees, so all six. And so one, two, three, four, five, six. Alex, Diana, Clark, Bruce, Lois, Peter. Perfect. Uh, we've got all of them. And then so we've got every attendee, and now we've got the topic. So the topic, quarterly strategy review, and future initiatives. And so in this case, that is listed at the top here. So um, inside of the data, we've now found a way to extract multiple meeting points without having to use uh, a particular prompt to extract from that. We just give the name of the data point or data points and the description of each of those data points and also the source text that we want to extract it from. So let's talk about how to use this a little bit more in practice. Uh, to start, what I've got this workflow, uh, I've got this workflow here to research a public company that takes in a ticker symbol and a company name, and it uses that to search the latest 10K SEC filings, uh, analyzes it for growth challenges, extracts some data from the 10K, and then uh, basically taking in that source text of the SEC filings or the 10K document itself, we want to extract a couple of things. So employee count, revenue, a list of subsidiaries, and then directors and executives. So a full list of directors and executives. Um, you know, We want to understand their corporate governance. Uh, lastly, I know before we mentioned that, uh, or we covered that in the test, what you see is this object notation in the output, right? How do we operationalize this? So we have this uh, JavaScript object notation output here where you have the name and the value and sort of a key value pair combination. Uh, and let's talk about how to operationalize this a little more in your workflows. So coming back to this, we have this format output action, which essentially uh, spits out exactly what you put into it. So what I want to do first is I have a list of information uh, that we were looking to extract. So we had uh, directors and executives, or actually, let's see. So we had employee growth 
and I can say that I can reference this again with a hashtag. So uh, you'll see here now that we have a list of data. So we have extract from data from the 10K, which is the entire actions output, which would just be the object. But we can also reference the, the, uh, the data point directly and only the value of that data point. Uh, by using a hashtag as well. So you see this little arrow. Um, so we're using the extract data from 10K output, but only the employee count portion. And so we're going to put that there. The next thing is uh, subsidiary information. I'm gonna use a hashtag to reference that again. Uh, we'll include revenue. And we're also going to include um, directors and execs. Perfect. So now we've got all of these things referenced with a hashtag. I'm going to click save uh, and we're going to run through a quick test. So I'll use CRM and the company name of Salesforce, which is uh, CRM is Salesforce stock ticker. Uh, so now we will run this workflow and we will see how it does. Awesome, so we've got our output here. We have the 10K SEC filing. We have some growth bets and challenges uh, that we've analyzed from the 10K. Uh, and we also have this list of information uh, that we've asked it to extract. So employee count, um, they've got 79,390 employees, so 79, over 79,000 employees. The revenue is 31 billion, over just over 31 billion. Uh, they have a full list of subsidiaries here, so Slack, um, Velocity, Evergage, etc. And then, of course, uh, we've got this list of directors and executives here. Um, and so now you can see that we've got all of this content output in this format output action. And so it's a little bit more operationalized, a little bit more human readable than this object format here. This is really helpful uh, for referencing specific data points downstream, which as you can see, we definitely did here. Uh, this is also helpful for things like extracting URLs and using just the URL, where now you don't have to control or uh, work on your prompt for formatting. You just have exactly what you need extracted in a particular data point, and you can reference all of that with a hashtag. So thanks for watching and uh, look forward to your feedback in the comments.